I'm going to give you directions for our sorting activity in the nonfiction and fiction genres. Um, the reason why you'd want to do a sorting activities with young children is because it offers them that inquiry or discovery learning activity where the activity becomes more meaningful for them because they have given their thought and answers before the teacher does. So we're going to try this out with you. Follow the link in the Google Docs area. Then once we get there, I'll show you how you go to file and you need to make a copy of what I've given you. So you have your own workable copy. Once we get into the copy, we're going to edit the drawing area and that'll allow you to do your sort. And then when you're all finished, you'll move on to the next slide and we'll see your answers. So this is what it looks like. We click on our Google Docs link and that takes us into Google Docs. There's our sort. Within Google Docs, you go to File, make a copy. And now I'm going to close out the original just so I don't accidentally work in it. And there's my copy. Once we click down here in the drawing box, you can see the word edit pops up. When you click edit, it brings you a drawing area. And now you can select the different areas and you can move them around. So do you think math is a fiction or nonfiction text? Click on alphabet. Is it fiction or nonfiction? You want to have that four way arrow before you move something. Okay, narrative. Nonfiction, hmm, that one is has a little bit of a giveaway to it. Where does it belong? And then when you're all finished with your drawing, drawing you'll hit save and close. Um, if you don't want to save, if you want to save and close, you may. You may also, um, once you save and close, it brings you back to your document. You can print a copy for yourself um, and you can upload that to me. Or you can just close out and go back into our presentation. And once in that presentation, when you move to the next slide, you'll be able to um, get your answers and see if you sorted correctly. All right. Best of luck on your sort. And remember, sorts are great activities for children as well.